We're gonna hang out in the kitchen today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am going to be doing some pantry cooking today. We are gonna be going through using things that we have around the house and make some delicious meals and recipes for my family to eat. I love pantry cooking. It is a great way to go through your house, uh, your pantries, your fridge, your freezers, see what you have and see what needs to be used. I had some bananas that were on their last leg and really needed to be used. So of course, my first thought was banana bread. I love banana bread. So that was a great way to use that up. So there's no food waste and my family gets to enjoy a sweet treat. I'm also gonna be cooking lunch with you guys and then we're gonna make some delicious cake mix cookies. Let's get to cooking. We're gonna make some banana bread this morning. I have like three bananas that were on. They were, they need to be loved. So um, <laughs> they were past time of when Winston will eat them. If, if they start getting brown, Winston will not eat them. Um, so this, these are gonna be perfect for banana bread. And then you just need eggs, butter, sugar, some salt, baking soda, and some all-purpose flour. Um, I'll have the recipe that I've been using. I've been using this recipe for years. It's so easy and it's really good. So I'll have it linked down below. It does call for nuts, but of course that's optional. Luke does not like nuts in anything. <laughs> so um, sometimes I do one with and one without, but I'm just completely out of nuts. So we're just gonna do without. And you can add chocolate chips as well. I have done that before and it's really good, but we're gonna keep it simple and just make some good old classic banana bread. First, I'm just going to cream together the butter and the sugar. Then I'm gonna add in the eggs. Add in the mashed bananas. Then we're gonna add in our flour, our salt, and our baking soda. Get that all mixed together. Of course, you can add nuts or chocolate chips, just whatever your family likes if you want to. Or you can keep it classic, like we do most of the time. And then I've got my oven preheated at 350, and then we're just gonna bake this in two grease loaf pans, about 35 to 40 minutes. It's just gonna depend on how thick your batter is in the pan. You just wanna make sure that a toothpick comes out clean. They look like when they're all done they were so good i love homemade banana bread and i like it warm with a little bit of butter luke texted me and said that he's coming home for lunch today we don't have any leftovers so i'm gonna cook us something since i'm already in the kitchen filming today I'll just show y'all what we're having for lunch too. Super easy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let my butter melt down and then behind you that you can't see, I've cut up about two bowl of skillless chicken breast and I'm gonna season that up and then we will add that in and get it cooked. And then I'm just gonna use this um, cheddar broccoli and rice mix. I got this at the salvage um, Amish store when I went 
absolutely love these things we already did the um, red beans and rice one and it was delicious i'll have that video linked down below in case you missed it it was so good so i'm gonna do this one it says oh you only need a cup and a third of this blend so i'm not wondering if this will do two servings so we'll see i'm only gonna do because it says the cup and a third makes four servings so we'll see We'll see what we end up with, but all you need is this blend and water. So it's really easy and they're really good. But to make it all in one meal, I'm gonna add in some chicken because y'all know Luke needs some protein. <laughs> So I got my chicken cooked. I just added in the amount that it said on the back of that package there. So that package did end up making enough for two meals. So I just put it back in the pantry and I can do another one. Now I'm going to be honest, it did not, like mixing it together and letting it cook, it did not look appetizing at all. It smelled really good, but I was like, oh gosh, is this going to be bad? <laughs> um, and so I did doctor it up with a little bit of heavy cream and some extra cheese. And y'all, it actually was really, really good. So it may not look the best. Y'all will see it in a second. It may not look very good, but it tasted really good. So that's all that matters, right? <laughs> Sometimes recipes don't look good, but they taste good. So you just got to get past the look of it. So this wasn't very, very appetizing, but it had really good flavor. And I'll definitely buy those again. I love keeping any of those like quick and easy rice sides or even pasta sides. All you gotta do is add protein and you have a quick and easy lunch or even supper. Okay guys, y'all know how much I love lazy cookies. <laughs> so we're gonna make some more. This time we're gonna use a chocolate cake mix. I just got this at the salvage store. It's just, y'all know I keep that stuff stocked, so it's good to have that on hand. And then you can do more than make just cakes with cake mixes. You can, you know, make cookies and like it can be like a cobbler topping and there's just so many different things you can do with cake mixes so i'm gonna make lazy cookie today and then i pulled out these reese peanut butter chips from my freezer I keep them in my freezer just so they you know stay uh good longer um so we're gonna use these as well today and you can do any combination i've done this before with like a yellow cake mix and regular chocolate chips or a Funfetti cake mix. Like you can just use whatever you want. And then you need two eggs and one stick of butter um, melted, but cool it down a little bit. You don't wanna add it directly in with it being hot with the eggs. So let's get all this put together. Normally when I do lazy cookies, I just put them in a casserole dish and bake them that way. But I'm gonna scoop them out this time and make actual cookies, so. Let's get to baking. I love making cookies with cake mixes because it, you can literally customize it to what your family likes. It's just a base recipe and you can change out the cake mix. You can change out the um, chocolate chips. You know, you can do nuts. You can literally use whatever you want or whatever you have on hand. And that's the joy of having a basic recipe. And then you can change it to what your family likes or what you have on hand, which is the whole point of pantry cooking. So I absolutely love this. So you just literally add everything in, mix it together, mix the batter up, and then I'm gonna add in those peanut butter chips. And then I've got my oven preheated at a 350 and I'm just going to get these scooped out and put in the oven um, for nine minutes. What I like to do when I do cookies, if I use my small scoop, I like to bake them for nine minutes and then I take and take them out, put them on the counter. I kind of slam them down on the counter a little bit. That way it evens them out. It kind of, it flattens them out and it helps them get an overall even bake. 
and because that pan is still hot so while they are cooling on that pan it will finish cooking so if you pull them out like a minute or a couple seconds before they get hard they will finish cooking on the pan these were so so good i absolutely loved this combination which i personally love anything chocolate and peanut butter together it's definitely one of my favorites but if you've not tried this version definitely give it a try because it was so so good that's it guys that wraps up today's video i really hope you enjoyed these three super easy and delicious recipes i love pantry cooking i love being able to go through check my stock check my fridge check my freezer and see what i have on hand that needs to be used and something that i can create for my family i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i will see you in the next one bye guys